The U.S. Coast Guard has now confirmed that they have found the capsized boat that these two teenagers were on when they went fishing two days ago. The boat was found about 67 miles off the coast of Jupiter, Florida. The boys themselves have not been found. Uh, it is believed that the 14-year-olds may have been headed to the Bahamas, some 60 nautical miles away, when they disappeared. Uh, joining me right now is public affairs specialist for the U.S. Coast Guard, Petty Officer Mark Barney. Uh, so, Mark, uh, thanks again for joining us. Uh, we talked about an hour ago. Now tell me about how you've been able to confirm that this capsized 19-foot boat that was located is indeed that of the 14-year-olds. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, well, shortly ago, we received word that a vessel, a capsized vessel, was located about 67 nautical miles east of Ponce Inlet. Um, as soon as we got that report, uh, we had Coast Guard responders uh, get on scene. Um, a rescue swimmer had to get inside the boat to confirm registration numbers. Um, once the registration numbers were confirmed and they reported them back to us, that's when we knew that that was a vessel that the boys were last seen on. And now tell me about the ongoing search uh, for these 14-year-old boys. Absolutely. Um, well, the way we see it is um, it's one thing for the boys to be missing inside uh, the vessel, and it's another thing for them to be missing inside open water. Um, that definitely turns up the heat um, uh, substantially, considering the fact that these boys are now um, before they were out there for going on 48, 49 hours at sea in a boat, now they're in even worse situation um, mm. if they are to be in the water right now. Mm. And, and tell me about the, the conditions in the search area right now. Um, well, search, I don't know the specifics uh, right now. Um, I'm still waiting to hear word back, uh, confirming everything. Um, right now, what I do know is that um, they found the vessel. I'm still waiting on word on the condition of the vessel, if there was any damage to it, um, any nearby debris. Um, but right now, the, the search conditions, um, although they're not the most pr preferable for what we are looking for mm -hmm. uh, when we do a search and rescue, it's definitely nothing that right now that would deter us or hamper our abilities to still conduct the search. All right, Petty Officer Mark Barney of the U.S. Coast Guard, thank you so much. Of course, we're going to continue to hope and pray for the absolute best outcome.